I mean, it has been a, a, a very aggressive roller coaster over the last few weeks. And so what we try to do is as follows. We try to, by discussing with our companies and, and doing our fundamental research and meeting with uh, all the parties that are involved in a particular business in which we're invested in, we try to come up with the most uh, accurate uh, picture of what the business is worth over the long term. And yes, the short term shutting down the economy for a couple of months is certainly going to have an impact. But our view is, generally speaking, the impact this has had is far smaller than the movement and the price of the businesses. So what we have to do is stake as current as possible on the value of the companies so when the market through all this volatility goes up and down and up and down, we can keep our portfolios positioned such that those companies which the highest have the highest expected rate of return are maintained big positions in the portfolio. The volatility has meant you could barely blink. I mean, there was a company we own, one morning was down 10% a couple days ago, and it closed up 20. I mean, that is a 30% intraday move. Mm -hmm. So obviously, you know, this isn't fundamental. So the business's value didn't go up by 30%, and it didn't go down by, you know, 20. It's just this is the way it is, and mm -hmm. it's important for investors to look ahead, not to get so concerned and time every short-term move, because they're big and they're frequent, and you'll get dizzy. So, so David, I mean, clearly uh, there is a lot of volatility, and uh, you don't want to be drawn in on daily moves. That said, uh, the more pronounced sell-off that we've seen since the high provided a lot of opportunities. Uh, did you act significantly? Did you rebalance uh, when we were at the lows, and are you still tempted to do so? Or are you just holding the same companies whose values haven't moved much uh, as of a few months ago? Oh, no, we've, we've really had to do a lot of rebalancing through all of this. Now, this top, say, 15 names are probably still pretty much the top 15 names in the portfolio. However, their relative position in the top 15, given the contrary price movements, the conflicting price movements between one another, has meant that you had to be very cognizant of the need to rebalance.